in with us this afternoon for a lively game of, of, of volleyball. We'd love to have you. Excuse that interruption. Uh, today, we're going to do things a little different in terms of the conference of uh, say so. Today, there will be the eighth graders starting the uh, game of today, and the seventh graders will follow behind. And we'd like to welcome you, all the fans that's on, on our TV scanner here. And we just want to let you know we are happy to have you. We actually help you. We are lend up tigers on us with the bite in them. And today, our, our director is Miss Hannah. Mr. Isaac is the producer. And Mia is the camera. And Eric is the camera. And myself, the announcer. We'd love to have you. I'm Richard Gill, the third. And they said they're about ready to get this thing rolling. Uh, last week, uh, they had a pretty rough time. The seventh graders won last week, but not the uh, eighth graders. So they said they're going to put a stop to that tonight. So we shall see. We're starting off with the eighth graders. And I want you to stand by until game time and relax. They're biting at the books. All right, stand by. Two, one, all right. 
bring Vikings. They bring this ship in. She's giving her to serve number 10. She sends it across. And another sidewinder. Three. Zero. And the age budget, uh, they have an unlimited amount of service as long as the first one keeps making it. So they got it going. So, number 10 has been back there for a while. <laughs> Here we go again. She sends it out. All right, so Linda have and stuff. Pretty good server. Let's see how she's sending it back today. She lines up, she hits it, and beautiful, beautiful. We call, we call those two drops. And she plays it right where it needs to drop. I am now. Three, six. The only down three. Lend up. 32 lines up. About center court. Serve. There we go. I think it's another score. Uh oh. in the back there.
I got an extended time out here. The official is talking to one of the guys on the sideline. Yeah, so we getting ready to get it in there. Now we're going to see what they're going to do. Ship across there. Thirteen to six. The Vikings coming across to see me. They're gonna put a storm in front of them now. Fourteen. This is getting the space out. Sir, she's sending rockets across there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for a short time out. And they come. Come to coach. Yes, sir. and I have my Conrad in arms. We got the timeout. We was hanging so far, so good. Okay. So, lend out next volleyball game at home. We'll, we'll, we'll begin at 4 p.m. October 4th at Hillside. October 5th at Hoosier. October 11th, Southeast Park. Yes, sir. So far, they're hanging in there, Randy. They've not let him take off on no, on no survey. That young lady back there, she didn't tear, I won't say tearing them off, but uh, she, just, she just got the right gift for a, a volleyball player. I see that she got a strong serve. Yes, sir. That's in there too. How you doing? We are mobile viewers. Yes, sir. And to the We Are Mobile team. We are mobile been busy lately, haven't they? Yes. I mean, we are we're making our step on this program. Yes. Yes. And on this team. Even at, uh, they all over the place. Even at Providence, we saw them coming this past weekend. Yes, it was outstanding. Been getting real good feedback, but see, that's, that's a, what I'm talking about. That was a nice, was a nice set. Get over, get over. Oh. <sighs> they tried. Close, but no cigars. So this Albright, they look organized. Yes. The Vikings. Oh, nice dig, but it didn't go over. No. She's a, she's a good server. Good set. Mm. Yes. Coach Wade. Yeah, strategizing for the team in the right place to proceed. Good dick. Yes, yeah, they got it. They got it on the cross there. Went to the Tigers. Yes. And they like a cut over to the net and crawled over. But it made it. It made it. Good one. That's a good one. Oh. Yeah. She enjoyed that one. <laughs> yep. 32, met him at the net, said, hey, I'm slamming the door. What is that, 18 11? Yeah, 18 11. The Vikings? Yep. It's not too late. That's a good set. That's a good set. Just 
Tiger just got to learn how to place the ball to their teammate so their teammates can hit it over. Come with practice. More time. They just started. So he's hanging with them. He's kind of letting them get in the way. Yeah. They got to buckle down and strategize and make it work. Yes. Let's see what number 10 does for the Vikings. Okay, Gil, you, you know what I see already? What's that? You don't have to be Mr. Magoo or <laughs> Stephen wanted to see this one. I mean, they obviously practice yes. a lot on their server. I see Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I see that. That's another point for the Vikings. They want to pound you into submission with their with they scoring. Yes. They don't even want to get into the digging and the defensive stops at the net. None of that. They want to get it over. All right. Good. Yep. Yeah, Gil, have you... Um, Okay, 24 11 game point here for the Vikings for all right. Albright said we're coming to hit and we are uh, we got things to do this evening. Yeah, they in, so, they in and out. Uh, we, they said we have dinner waiting on us at home. Let's see what the tiger said in return. But yes, yeah, so our community, um, the District 209 for Viso East community had a great homecoming weekend and we are mobile was right in the middle of it, right at the thick of it. Yes, we'd like to thank Proviso East for allowing us the opportunity to record them. And we just hope it get greater next year. I believe that, um, I believe Isaac was out there on the route, parade route with, um, yes, with the, with the drone shots. Yep. Next game, see how it work out. And we'd like to thank these parents for coming out. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. My granddaughter. Oh. <laughs> yes. Let's see if our Tigers can regroup. Yes. They, uh, they got to get serious about it and, and do it. Make it happen. Make it happen. Yes. It is beautiful weather outside too. I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. And uh, just remind me of last week when that young man scored 26 or 25 straight points. 28 straight points. Okay, and just remember, uh, our TV listeners and watchers, that the eighth graders are playing first. So this is the eighth graders that you are seeing right now. And they're already up for the second uh, opportunity to try to take one of these home. So we're going for a win, as we always try to. Yes. Yeah, I know the, the viewers are used to seeing seventh grade play first, so we're getting, we're getting the... Uh, Eighth graders hopefully pull this victory out and be an inspiration to the seventh grader. Exactly. Hey, Gil, by the way, um, October the 7th, this Saturday, um, there's a huge bicycle ride in, in, in Westchester. It's hosted by Bessemer Rogers Township, who I just happen to know. 
And it's a collaboration with um, Best of Wiser Township and um, the village of Westchester. It's called Toro de Proviso. Um, last year it was in Riverside. There was 500 riders. And part of the ride went through Brookfield Zoo. This year it's going to go through the community of Westchester, but they're also going to ride on the Salt Creek Trail. Um, and they're going to ride through the woods, so it's, it's going to be nice. 7.30 a.m. is when people line up, and 8 a.m. is when we take off, so. Wow, that sounds challenging. Yeah, uh, it's a community event. And yeah. one thing I like, we will be raffling off two bicycles. If we can get some more, we're going to raffle off some more yeah. free raffle. So it would be great if some of the students can get, get up there and um, participate with their families. me after this game. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here we go. That's number 10 again, Gil. Yep. Look until they, they enter their game. It's another point for the Vikings. Let's sit there and watch. Yes. They're, they're learning. Yeah. Again, not many uh, kids actually get into volleyball. It's due to it, they find out that it's exciting and fun. Got it. We finally got number 10 off the spot. Start for the Tigers. Yes. 3 1. Right. That's the 7th grade girls chilling for the 8th grade girls. Let's go with that. We got to get together. I think our Tigers are about to get fired up. Yeah. So they got to see it takes a seat. And then we have them firing it up. Whoop. Boo. Point. Point. See the Vikings. Two stuff in back to it. Yeah. Now he's fired up now. Yes. That's a good leg. They had him on the rope for a minute. Team goes back to line it up and send it hopefully back across for their teams. And it's a good one. Seven to three Vikings. Yeah. Vikings serve. Good volley. It's a nice volley by the Vikings. That's a point for the Vikings. Yep. They're placing it in the right spot. Fourteen, line it back up. Send it out. Good set. Good set. Yeah. Yeah. Nice See, set by the Vikings. They do it all the time. See if they can pull it off. Oh, that's a point for the Tigers. Getting into it. Yes, they're coming in. They are coming in. That's a nice serve. Set. And that's a point for the Vikings. Yes. They won't get on their tippy toes. 
It's that second to third volley that the Tigers are slightly struggling with right now. If they pull that together, I believe they can close the gap. Number seven sends it back across, and that's a good one. Uh, that might drop right in for a point. Five nine hits the score. The eighth graders are trying to come back. And Phil lines it up to send it out there and hopefully it makes a connect. That's a nice dig by Oh, that is a nice play. Good shot. Good shot. Nice smash by number 13 for the Vikings. She did that very casually. <laughs> She's serving underhand, but she's putting some heat on that. Yes. Basically, I was that whole squad is going underhand. Mm -hmm. Going to skim it right across the top of the net. Let it go. That's in there for a point. <sighs> Four to five, Vikings. Got to open up. Got to open it up. Tigers need this, get, need this game right here. Ooh, that's another point for the Vikings. Yep. Coach Wade appears to be calling a timeout. Yeah, Wade wants to discuss things, more, implement some strategies, and probably make some adjustments, words of encouragement. Who knows? She might even suit up, Gil. Uh, and then it's over. Yeah. Damn, it's over. Oh, man. It, it, it's really over. Mm -hmm. You know, but they. I think what I'm noticing is probably on the second and third volley, if if the Tigers can can um, coordinate that just a little bit more. They, they Who knows? Gotta, yeah, they're going to have to uh, yeah. do something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I still don't see the fire in the eyes just, right now. You took the word right out of my mouth. I think maybe that when they when they back get against the wall, I believe they you'll see a different side of them. Their back is against the wall right now. Because yeah. Albright is trying to come into their gym, win two, and go home. Let's see what the Tigers have to say about that. Let's see if they come back. Got number two server for the Vikings. Heat. Yeah, that one came in hot. Nice serve. That's a point for the Vikings. 14 fouls. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's a nice serve. He gave everybody a chance to hit it back across. He just, yeah. did, just didn't make it. Yeah. That one came barely over the net. That yeah, was a tough yeah. one to decipher how to play it. Albright is having fun. Oh, here we go. This is, I thought that was coming towards us. Yeah. That's going to be over there. That's, that's a nice set. Oh, she got it back over. That's a nice play by number nine for the Tigers. And they, oh, and this is going to be a point for everybody. Yeah, everybody came up to the rim, up to the top. Yes. They got my short stopping. Not letting them breathe. Substitution number 20 coming in for 22 for the Tigers. Number 10, lines up five and oh, shoot. That's tough. Coming in with a lot of heat. Absolutely. She said, lead a critical at home. Oh, that's a yes, tough right. serve. It's on fire. Gil, she's not even jumping. Normally, normally. She she's had that athletic physique for volleyball. Long arms. 
Number 13, uh, yeah, I, if, if she's being scouted for the next level, I can see because that serve is just, it's, it's a gift. She's not even jumping. Let's see this again. Yeah. Nice try by number five for the Tigers. Yeah, it looks like they've given up. I see some sad faces out there. Number 13 has definitely played this game before. Okay. Final is up. First miss. Final is Now, she, she served pretty good for the Tigers right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, number... Oh, good try. My number nine. Yeah. Not quite. You got to get up to tiptoes. Yeah, number six for the Tigers is a strong server. She's normally good for three or four points automatically. You're going number 10 again. Yeah. yeah. She's a strong server, too. She's a strong server. All of them are some good servers here. <laughs> Vikings. The Tigers pretty much got to serve out. Yeah. They got to lock it down and go. Let's see. That's going to be a point for the Tigers. I mean, for the Vikings. Yep. It's 23. Two away. Right. Let's see if we just fire it up, get some spark. Boom. That's got a great point. Yes. Vikings, all right, Vikings, one point away. And that's it. Game match to the Albright Vikings. That's the end of that twenty five. To nine. All right. Took it home. Yep. All right. Took that one home. It's going to be curious to see how our Tigers respond the next game. Yeah, that would be interesting to see. Yeah, because that. You can't get used to, you don't want them getting used to Lose. letting the team come in like that and then leave out without breaking a sweat. This is your house. This is your domain. Send a message. Let's see if the seventh graders can pick up, pick up the slack for their fellow Lindot Tigers. They look they, very energetic. Yeah. And just so you all know, the Lindop Girls volleyball games, all the home games are streamed live at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. The next one is October 4th. I'm sorry. The next away game is at Hillside, October 4th. Then October 5th, our Tigers will be at Hauser. October 11th, we'll be back here at Lindop when they take on S.E. Gross. And that game will be live streamed here at Windot. At www.wearemobly.com. So we're gonna take a little break in between these this game, and we'll be back with the seventh grade Lindot Tigers.
Ta girls taking on the visiting all bright black gangs and girls. We'll be back.
about to start the seventh grade girls volleyball game between Albright Vikings, Albright Vikings and the Lindop Tigers. So um, as we get started for this match between the seventh grade girls, we're going to be joined by Coach Wade, the eighth grade girls coach for Lindop. Sure, she's she's so as we get prepared for this match, we're going to be joined with Coach Wade. How you doing, Coach? I'm doing good. I'm good. Well, that was a that was a tough. Match. We're gonna get get into it a little later. Once this match be going, I mean, I'm just curious to see what you will work on with the work on with the uh, young ladies in between games because your expertise is always respected. So um, we love when you strategize. So well, we got time. So what do you what do you what do you think were the key to that match between Albright? Um, definitely our serve receive, and that's just been a big key factor here with this team all together for our whole season. Is I just keep telling them, you know, we got to work on our serve receive, getting under the ball, passing the ball, and that's been that's been what's been really killing us this season. So we know we need to work on, but yeah. Okay. How does how do the, the players do they do they take that and? work it on it themselves because I know you have your own camp. Do any of your girls come to your camp? Yeah, I did. A lot of, uh, actually I have a few, most of the, I coach the eighth grade team. So a lot of eighth graders, they have other extracurricular activities they were in. So they weren't able to make the camp or they can't do my camp because my camp is going on up until November 3rd. But I do have a lot of these seven graders. And so, you know, just preparing for the future. And that will be my next players for next season. So they'll get some off-season training. And you will see a difference in that. Because it all comes with repetition in volleyball. You know, they need to practice. They need to practice in order to keep – they need the repetition just to keep actually developing their skills. And it's all muscle memory, you know. Like I said, on platform, shoulders down, dropping your shoulder. Just It's just repetitive. And it just comes with practice. And once they're practicing it more, they'll get it down more. I think the more, like you said, that repetition, just like shooting free throw. I mean, um, a lot, of, a lot of his repetition, and then, man, that confidence factor coming to play. The more you do something over and over again. Exactly. So we're gonna let you give your perception about what you're seeing out here on the between this match between the Vikings and our Tigers. Yeah, seventh grades are coming off of a win last week against Kamark, and they played great. You know, they, they have been struggling in the first half of the season, but they've really made adjustments. They have been picking it up. They're moving their feet. They're talking. So I was just telling them in the huddle, you know, bring that over to this game. So we'll see how they do. They are missing a key component today. One of their – actually, the captain of the team, Kiana, she's not here. They said she had to go home sick. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, we got a – Kiana Speedy recovery, that's a nice volley. Oh, good flex. Get it, get it, there we go. Ugh. They are not giving up. They're hustling, you know. It's all, it's all, I always take a scrappy team, a team that's going to go for everything, who's going to go for every ball. And it's hard to be the scrappy team because they don't like to let the ball drop. But and they look ready, Coach. They, I mean... They, they eyes, they look like we want to destroy this team. <laughs> they look like they're ready. Yeah, they beat up their big brother. <laughs> Even in the defensive stance, I mean, right here. They, they ready. Yes. We were talking about, about that last week. Mm -hmm. That's a point for the Tigers. Set the 
What about, the, what about the seventh grade girls coach? Is she a former player too? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Coach Powell, she, and she did say she started playing volleyball in eighth grade. Okay. And so and she also played throughout her high school career. Um, she's been a really good coach. It's her first year coaching. Okay. And so she's really adjusting really well. She listens. She's taking the advice I have to give her. She's very open to getting help and receiving help. And so we work really well together as a team. That's good to know. That's, that, that's good to know. A great, a great rapport between the two of you. Here we go. Here we go. So, well, you know what? Um, Coach Wade, being who she is and her expertise, she's going to step over and give some. Um, Encouragement from the bench. So we appreciate you being there, Coach Wade. Of course, thanks for having me. If you got time, we here for the, the next what two two quarters at least, two matches, two, two games. Two sets. So it's two sets. All right. Well, we appreciate you. All right. Of course. Yes, All right. Sir. Thank you. Thank All right, you very cool. much. Okay. Cool. Coach Wade. Um, wow, this young lady, number eight. Yeah, she got some dynamite in that 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 right to serve. So keep in mind, everybody, that when a when a player serves five times in a row, they get five points. They have to rotate. Yeah. 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 That's right. Ooh. All right, they're up there. Right out there. Yeah, these Albright Vikings, Gil, if you want to beat them, they definitely are trying to serve you out. They don't want they don't want you to get up to serve. <laughs> no. That's well, that's one of those uh Linda thing is that's the service. They're serving the ball. Like Wade, Coach Wade said, it is, is practice and putting the time in. Yes. Uh, the Albright uh, team, they probably are, have been playing for a few years now. Um, Together maybe even. Yeah. 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 The Tigers are just starting, so this is a learning process for them. And we, we, we hope they stay encouraged, listen to their coaches, work on their craft. Seven great girls are still lively, though. They're very lively. Yes. They're so they, going up there. Mm -hmm. They ganged. Number five, get ready to serve her up. True. That's a lot of heat. Yeah. That's a point for the Vikings. That's a nice place for my number 11 for the Vikings. Good effort by number 10, but not quite. Yes, 
they can communicate together, they're going to be just fine. Mm -hmm. And we are here. There it is. Oh, the Tigers are going to have to communicate. Yeah, they're not talking. That is your ball. If you gotta step into it, yeah, it's your ball. If you gotta back into it, that means it's somebody else's ball. That's a good dig. Uh oh, number twelve with the, with the spike. Nineteen to five, Vikings lead. Zoomed up with five points. Maybe Eleven lines we have to serve for the Vikings. And here we go. Ooh. Oh, that was a flame well serve. put together. She whistled that one right through there. Yes. There's a substitution. That point doesn't count. She will reserve. That's a break for the Tigers. We better get ready because she is. She got it cranked on high. Wow. And that's another point. She's sending it. Six of some go getters. The piece of leather are well put together. 22 to 5. Oh, miscalculation. Vikings are two away for the, for the game. Good attempt. At least she dug it out there. Yes. Good attempt. Here we go. Here we go. Back is getting ready to serve what could possibly be the 20th. Hit the point. Number 12 lines it up and sends it across and dead to the game. It's over. And that's. First game go to the Vikings. Let's see how the Tigers respond because if they don't, this might be a two-game match. So we um, we're here at Lindop and we do have some games that will be live streamed soon. But our Tigers will be playing in Hillside on October the fourth. And October the fifth, they will be playing at Hauser, and then they come home October the eleventh and host S.E. Gross. 
and that game will be live streamed at 4 p.m. at www.wearemobly.com. You can catch all the live home games are live stream at www.wearemobly.com. Games are live stream at 4 p.m. Share, like the uh, page, and share and inform others. Yeah, let's see how let's see how the, the Tigers respond. And just so you know, basketball season is right around the corner too. You know, October is here. You know, they go they go they have tryouts on the sixteenth. On the sixteenth, and then they got practice for the majority of October. And just so you know, um, there is a new agreement with the um, with the uh, conference that they normally in the past in all sports you would have the seventh grade team play first and then the eighth grade team play well do an agreement very cooperative to think about parents and families some of the games a portion of the season the seventh grade teams will play first and then the eighth grade team will play and then uh, Another portion of the season, they're going to reverse it where the eighth grade team will play first and the seventh grade team will play second. So just give all families an opportunity to everybody want to say, I can't make it at four o'clock. I don't get off work to five or six. I had to fight the traffic. So they, they, that's, that's a lot of consideration for the family. And that's great. This is a long season. For the boys. I'm seeing that they playing all the way from October, November. No, they play October through November. They get they're quite a few games. Stay in sync with We Are Mobile because those games will be live streamed, the home games. Like I said, man, the, the, the seven grade girls, they seem fired up. Hey. Here we go. That's a good serve. Point for the Tigers. Southern Red Girls, they cheering for themselves. Yeah. Uh, so she almost had us. That's one of those digs that the more she gets that way, she's going to get better and better at that. Absolutely. It's tough Absolutely. Right now, Lindop is leading 3-2. Point for the Tigers. They got him by double digit now. Team 
Now they're talking. Now you are talking. A little short, didn't quite make it over. Number five goes back now to serve it to let it out. And uh, she's normally keeping it low to the net. And you gotta be on your P's and Q's to catch her. There you go. She, there she goes. That was a good reaction. It's a little off on the place, but that was yeah. a great reaction. Yeah, by. it was a little off, but at least she's hitting it back now, would you say? Yeah. Uh, uh, she's going to get it. They're going to get it. Number 14 is, is almost timing that serve. <laughs> That's not easy, taking in no, income no. like that with that type of heat on it. That was hard to get. That's another point for the Vikings. They're up 10 to five. Point to the Tigers. Yes, sir. We got, we got six and our business has 10 and they scooting right on in. That's a good one. They just fight it back. Fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. Oh, fight it. They, hung, they hung tough. They hung tough. Dude, they, they almost there. They right yeah, there so with that, practice, yeah. And you see a new team. Yeah. You, you will see a new team. I'm telling you, I see, I mean, I see the fire in this team. Look how they get down and, and ready for action. They're ready for it. Ooh. See, that was an ooh. Almost. She took that on the um, on the shoulder. And she was ready. She was looking around just in case the ball came back to her. Whoa. But that was coming at us, Gil. Yeah. <laughs> do we have it do we have insurance with we are moving? <laughs> Did he get injured? On the job injury? I don't know. I mean, Easy. Uh, oh, we don't. Uh, we don't that's workers the chief executive officer that said there's no workers comp. Yeah, I, I thought when I was signed the contract, you know, you get hit by a, a flaming volleyball, you get three months into the islands. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a winner. <laughs> yes. Resort of your choice. I'm gonna see if I can go on location where we are mobile in the Caribbean. Well, who knows? Uh, you think you did the camera crew go with oh that's a great volley between hey, two teams. Hanging in there. This is a good point. Ooh. That was a good effort on both teams. Yes. That was a great series between both teams. Albright is up 14 and 7. It's going to be a point for the Tigers. Eight.
Torch lines it up. It's all right. She sends it into the atmosphere. 17, 18 now to 9. Our guest is leaving at the moment. So she's lining up again, number 12, to serve. Nineteen and nine. The Tigers are going to have to put the clamps down right here. Pump, make them pump the brakes. Got two substitutions. server ball bright and she made it through twenty one to nine twenty one nine I wanna I want, let's see if the tigers clamp down and they got fighting them I don't know that's a point for the Tigers. Got to start right here. Let's see if the Tigers can go on the run. This is a good server right here. Nice dig by the Vikings, but it's not enough to get them a point. It's 11 now. Yeah, number 10 is a strong server. Yeah, she zooms across she's a strong server. Yeah, yeah, she's something to give you guys a taste your own medicine. Oh, she came in and tried yes. to dig it. She, she, she says about winning. Away. Yes, we got some new players in there. We got just about everybody that played except for maybe one or two. That's a point for the Tigers. Yes, they got to go here. Yes. Keep that composure. Keep the keep the faith. Keep the fire. They still cheering for themselves. Point for the Vikings. Vikings can end it on the serve. Yes, sir. You know, if I would have sent a bullet across there. Oh, wouldn't you know it? Let's see if the Tigers can lock her down or block her serving. Oh, she's coming in. And that is point game. Yeah. Match. Yeah, four, on the, yeah, four on the bench. Uh, all 
Bright Lichens ran 25 to 12. Yeah. Is it? They win two games in a row. That is it. Yeah. From here, from Linda. She looks like Miss Walker from Provider East. That is the end of both games today. The seventh, seventh and eighth grade Viking Albright Vikings. Are victorious here at Linda. Yeah. I see mom really into it with a child. Yeah. And that'll be in, in, a, in a positive way. So, on, on behalf of We Are Moly Production, we like to thank you and remind you of the upcoming game on October 4th, Hillside. October 5th, at Heiser's. October the 11th, don't forget. What am I not forgetting? Well, October the 11th? Yeah. Yeah, October the 11th, we're here back at, against uh, SC Gross. We're back at home. And um, I'm Randall McFarland. And I'm Richard Gill III. We enjoyed having you. We are sounding out. Until we meet again. Mm -hmm.